Hi everybody, it's Kim Wilson here and today for Lunchtime Live I have some gnome cards to share with you. So um, my last card class we did this gatefold card with the three panels and the hearts for Valentine's Day and I had some extra pieces left of the um, the cards that are already folded in the gatefold and I had extra of this piece here too so I thought I would make some more cards with those leftovers so and this is what I came up with I wanted to make something um, something a little bit different for Valentine's Day um, and use some of uh, the other stamp sets that I got from the new mini catalog so this is the friendly gnomes stamp set and it's mainly for spring because it's got spring flowers and birthday Days for it's got birthday balloons for birthdays but it does have this one stamp with the heart here and a little um, stamp that says love you and so I thought hey that would be perfect for a, a cute Valentine's Day card so just a few little tips here from how I stamped I I use Sahara sand to stamp the mushroom in the background Sahara sand is our one of our lightest ink pads so it always makes a nice kind of background stamp that's not too uh, strong and then I popped I, I cut and popped up my little gnome here on a dimensional and stamped the love you and I used the country let's see this is the country gingham designer series paper for um, to, to fill in the um, the panels here so some pretty um, uh, it's petal pink and sweet sorbet colors here. And I wanted to show you how I did this little heart here. Um, I thought, well, I could color the heart in like I colored the hat in with the, my Stampin' Blends, but I thought, I haven't done paper piecing in a while, so I thought I'd show you how to do that. So I had all these little scraps, as you can see here, with my gingham paper. So I just took that gnome and stamped him a few times on my scrap here and I just need the heart and the last video on Monday I showed you how to do fussy cutting and paper piecing is similar to fussy cutting but it's a little bit different for fussy cutting we cut and leave a kind of a border around the image that we're cutting out but for paper piecing you want to cut either right on the line or maybe even slightly inside the line when you're cutting out the image so because you've already stamped the image on your cardstock. So when you're piecing that extra piece on it, you can, I'll lift it up there, you can see we, you already have that line, so you don't need the outside line, you just need that inside portion. So we're just gonna cut around that, uh, right on the line of that heart, and then glue it right flat down onto um, onto the previously stamped image and that's called paper piecing because you're piecing that little bit on there I could have done that to the hat too um, you want to make sure it's something that's easy to cut around the heart was pretty easy and nice smooth curves so I had uh, really no trouble doing that with my paper snips of course you need your stampin up paper snips okay so there's that cute little project for valentine's day and i wanted to show you this today because i noticed um that the gnome dies are in low inventory so i'm not sure I, they do have another batch coming in i asked um to make sure that uh, they weren't going to be totally out of stock because they are um um still still available and another batch coming in but I don't know what the, the timing will be on that. So they matched a Christmas stamp set, and then they also matched this Friendly Gnomes stamp set. And I also want to mention that the um, Lucky Clover Punch is also on low inventory. And again, I don't know when the next batch of punches are coming in. I know our Country Bouquet Punch is not coming in until April, which is disappointing. That's our little heart punch there. And I showed you last time some ways to um, work around that. And here, here's some fun um, Valentine's cards. And I will be posting today, this afternoon, all the rest of my Valentine's projects on my blog, crafttalk.com. So I hope you'll check them out there and hope you got some good ideas today. Happy crafting!